Konbawa, Chirios des. So I've been out since about 7.30 in the morning. It's 9.30 at night now, and I'm just about to go take a quick walk down and check out my training hall, where my train is going to be located in the next couple of days. I mean, it's on the 25th, but best be prepared now than not prepared at all on the day, right? That and there's a really, really good cafe at the end of the street that I want to go and, uh, and visit. Could be exaggerating about the really, really good bit. I'm tired and I'm about to pass out. So I wanted to talk to you today, tonight, <laughs> today, tonight, Australian reference. I want to talk about apartments. Uh, in the next couple of videos, I will talk to you about obtaining a visa, your health card, health card, national health insurance, sorry, bank card, and cell phone. Uh, so, apartments. Uh, there's a few things you need to know. A, uh, the actual rental fee. B, utility fees, agent key, uh, sorry, agent money, guarantor fees, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, first things first, um, finding your apartment. Uh, you can go through www.gaijinpot.com. Uh, you might have heard of it. It's very, very popular and it's the best source of information for finding an apartment, finding jobs, and... Uh, going through study as well. Um, <clears throat> heaps of agents on there, um, best place to try and find an apartment. I found my real estate agent through there and they are called Aonissen. Aonissen, they are located in Shinjuku, um, easy to get to from the Okubo station. It's about a seven minute walk and um, they are very, very helpful. Uh, a lot, all of them speak very good English. There's actually one English, uh, sorry, there is one foreigner there. Um, who is fluent in Japanese and there's also Japanese staff there who are actually fluent in English anyway. Uh, one person in particular, Chaz, uh, who was my agent, um, actually wrote a book. It's on Amazon. Go check it out. It's called Renting in Japan. Um, uh, I mean, there's heaps of information in that book, so if you're ever worried or ever confused, check it out. There's a few um, bits and pieces that are floating out there for free. Um, otherwise, feel free to contact him. Um, if you want his email, please let me know and I'll shoot it through to you via PM. Um, the guy's very helpful. We've been conversing for about two, three weeks prior to my arrival in Japan and uh, we sorted out the apartment straight away. Um, now, there's a few um, issues that we had. Obviously, um, I arrived yesterday and um, I went in today to try and uh, get the apartment. Um, unfortunately, because I'm still in a hotel, it doesn't qualify as a temporary address. Now, you need a temporary address in order to sign a contract in in Japan. Um, it's government law. Um, now, because uh, I came in on the... Sorry, I went in today, which is a Saturday. Um, it's easy enough to register a temporary address. Unfortunately, it won't happen until Monday, and Monday, unfortunately, I'm training, so it'll happen on Tuesday. Uh, so Tuesday, I will actually sign the contract. Um, now, A, rental fees. Depending on where you are, it could range anywhere from, okay, I'll start off, sorry, you can go dirt cheap, unfurnished. Uh, so that could be anywhere from 300,000 plus, 300,000 yen plus unfurnished. Now, when I mean unfurnished, it is bare. It is bare. Uh, you'll be lucky to get a light bulb. Um, so in that aspect, you'd have to uh, purchase your own bedding, um, lighting, chairs, TV if you wish, um, and all your other essentials like, um, you know, kitchen utensils, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to go off the, uh, I'm going to go off Tokyo, um, because that's where I'll be based. I'm not actually based in Tokyo, I'm based in Yokohama, in the Konan Ward, so it's just a little bit outside, um, but they're very similar, um, in terms of rent. My apartment is 630,000 yen per month, uh, with an initial startup fee of 101,000 yen. That was pretty damn good. Now, in order to live in Tokyo, uh, you set aside at least 600 plus if you want a furnished apartment and you want to live comfortably. That is 17 square meters and upwards. Um, with the furnished apartment, 
you get pretty much everything TV, bedding, um, light bulb, uh, a couple of chairs sometimes, desks, um, all your essentials. Uh, within the rental fee, it could incorporate electricity, gas, water, um, uh, sometimes internet, but don't quote me on it. Uh, it was incorporated in the rental fees that I got, so um, I, luck I got lucky on that one. But um, please do your research, ask the questions as well, because uh, there could be massive, massive utility fees on top of that, which could be your electricity bills, your water bills, gas bills, stuff like that. Uh, so you want to clarify that on the apartment page or when you converse with your uh, your agent. So that's rental fees. In order to live in Tokyo, set aside about 600000 plus. Um, hopefully that works into your budget. If you're an alt, as an English teacher, um, that should be well within your budget. Um, I'm going off the um, the average of around 250,000 yen. Uh, Jet pays... Um, 350,000 yen per month um, so if you're a jet go for it um, for like Interac and other companies like that uh, we pay a little bit lower because it's not government funded um, it still should be uh, relatively budgetable um, but do your research um, you may be able to find an unfurnished apartment that's dirt cheap and you might be able to find a lot of second-hand um, utilities. Uh, there's heaps of them around. Um, I mean, yeah, there's heaps of shops around that you can possibly get some really cheap stuff. So uh, don't let it get you down. Um, but as a safety measure, set aside around 600, 600 plus. Um, now, uh, that's rental fees, utility fees. Now, uh, if you go through Gaijin Pot, you won't have to pay something called um, key money. Key money is basically like a thank you for letting me uh, rent an apartment. That's the easiest way to put it. It's non-refundable uh, and it's about 30 to 40 percent off the total fee. So I've heard horror stories where the key money could be around, you know, 5,000, sorry, 500,000 yen as a startup fee. That's ridiculous. Um, I'd probably cut someone's neck off. <laughs> um, luckily for me, mine was 101,000, and because there was no key money, because I went through Gaijin Pot. Yay! If you go through GaijinPot.com, there is no key money. Um, if you don't go through Gaijin Pot, please be aware of the key money. It might be in effect. Um, please ask your real estate agent. Uh, please check out the apartment page prior to signing. Um, prior to any inquiry, or if it's not on there, you know, ask during the inquiry. Either way, please be um, wary of it. Guarantor fees, um, that's usually incorporated into your into your rental fees. Um, if it's not, uh, and you don't have a guarantor, uh, there are heaps of guarantor companies around. Um, the real estate agent can direct you in that in that aspect, um, but most of them do incorporate the guarantor fee anyway. Um, <clears throat> sometimes uh, they ask for a deposit. Luckily for me, there was no deposit needed. Um, usually, uh, the startup fee takes care of that. You get either one month or two months free. Um, like for me that included two months worth of free rents including internet uh, internet past those two months is optional uh, could either be um, well it's about 30 to 50 dollars a month fiber optics is really fast um, so please bear that in mind um, so that's pretty much apartments um, if you have any questions feel free to ask um, there might be some things I haven't covered which I've forgotten unfortunately hopefully I've covered everything um, like I said just to summarize um, apartments can vary in different prefectures um, and different wards please do your research uh, I mean if you really are on a budget go for an unfurnished apartment and go hunting and um, go hunting for your secondhand stuff um, some of them can be really dirt cheap and you might actually be lucky and you know win out uh, and be paying rent, including all your utility fees, about 
400, 400 to 450 a month, which is uh, very, very, very good. Um, but other than that, do set aside at least, please budget around 600 plus, um, and that will set you up uh, quite comfortably. And that could be anywhere from you know 17 square meters and upwards. Uh, if you're a single person, um, that's more than enough. There are apartments, um, they have different codes for it. It's called 1K, one kitchen only. Uh, 1DK, one dining, one kitchen. Uh, 1DLK, one dining, living room, and a kitchen. Um, so there's your different codes when you go hunting for your apartment. Um, but at the end of the day, you've got to do your own research. Um, there are heaps of there's heaps of information on the internet um, please look at the site that I've told you guardianpot.com um, have a look at Ayo Nissen as the real estate agent there are heaps of them out there Knoshta um, Sakura House which is your share houses and stuff like that but uh, other than that hopefully it's helped uh, if you have any queries please let me know and I'll uh, be more than, more than happy to address you other than that um, それじゃ、あとあとでおやすみなさい。<笑>